dimensional formula for the universal gravitational constant. So this cannot be the answer. Now assume an equation which involves g. Simplify. Okay. That is the idea behind such questions. For example, g is there with g m1 m2 by r square. Isn't it? You can pick any equation. This equation. Now, g is Newton meter square per kg square. Newton is m l t minus 2. This is l 2. This is m minus 2. Now, these two gives m minus 1. Next, l. L2 and then L gives L3. L3 is with this. Therefore, this is the answer. The number of significant figures in the numbers. So, this is insignificant. 10 to the power of something is insignificant. Here, these are significant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All these are significant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, 1, 7, 5, 7. Now, little bit more about significant figures. 15, these two are significant. Okay. 1, 5, 0. Only these two are significant. If there is 0 after non zero digits, it is insignificant. 1, 5, 0, 0. Only these two are significant. 1, 5, point zero, 0, All these four are significant. Observe these two. These two zeros are after non-zero digits. Therefore, these two are insignificant. We have to count only these two. After decimal point, if we have numbers, then these two are significant. So, underlined digits are significant. Now, 15.010. All are significant. 15.00.0. All are significant. Observe, these two are insignificant, whereas these two are significant. The dimensions of resistance are same as those of dash where h is Planck's constant and E is the charge. Now consider equation with resistance. The simplest equation is Ohm's law V equal to I R. So R equal to V by I. V is Joule per Coulomb work done per unit charge and current is Coulomb per second. Now, this joule and there is second per second. So, this per second goes to numerator becomes joule second and this coulomb goes to denominator it becomes coulomb square. See, joule second is Planck's constant, coulomb square is charge square of charge. So, it is h by e square, h by e square, h by e square, yes. So, this resistance is not h by e square, but dimensional wise resistance is h by e square. That is the meaning of this question. If C is capacitance and V be the electric potential, then C V square. Expression for energy of a capacitor is half C V square. Half C V square is energy. Therefore, now in this case, it should be Joule. Joule is Newton meter. Newton is m l t minus 2, one more meter l. So, m l 2 t minus 2, m l 2 t minus 2. This is the equation. The dimensional formula of a physical quantity is m a l b t c. Then that physical quantity is, see, we have to check all this. It takes some time surface tension if surface tension is 
फोर्स पर लेंथ सो सरफेस टेंशन इज फोर्स पर लेंथ फोर्स इज एम एल टी माइनस टू बै एल सो एम टी माइनस टू एम एम टू दि पवर ऑफ ए टी माइनस टू बट देर इज दिस बी सो दिस कैन बी दि फोर्स फोर्स इज एम एल टी माइनस टू मास इंटू एक्सलेशन देर इज नो माइनस सो समथिंग इज रांग हियर देर फोर दिस इज नॉट द एंसर एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी इज एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी इज टू पाइ बै कैपिटल टी सो कैपिटल टी इज वन बै सैकंड टी इज सैकंड सो वन बै सैकंड यस Spring constant. Since it is practice session, let us check that. Spring constant is force per force per length. Force per length. So F is m l t minus two. This is l minus one. So this get cancels with this m t minus two. M t minus two.